So and in today's lesson, we are going to be working on finding equivalent fractions. To find equivalent fractions, you are either multiplying or dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number. So in this case, I can divide four into four and into eight. Four divided by four is one, and eight divided by four is two. Three twelfths. I could divide by three into each of those numbers. Three divided by three is one. 12 divided by three is four. Twenty-one twenty-fourths. I can also divide by three because 21 divided by three is seven. 24 divided by three is eight. 16 20. I could divide those by four because 16 divided by four is four and 20 divided by four is five. Six sevenths. There's nothing that I can divide into both of those, but I can multiply. So I'm gonna multiply by just any number. I could pick any number, so I'll pick two. Six times two is 12. Seven times two is 14. So those are making equivalent fractions. Four eighths and one half are the same. Three twelfths and one fourth are the same. 21 24ths and seven eighths are the same. 16 twentieths and four fifths are the same. Six sevenths and 12 fourteenths are the same. Again, if I look here, there's nothing that I can divide these numbers by that will be the same. So I'm gonna go ahead and multiply those. And I'll multiply by three. Five times three is 15. Eight times three is 24. And I can continue this pattern. So like, we'll look at this one, seven and 11. There's nothing that I can divide by both of those, but I can multiply. I'll multiply by four. Seven times four is 28, and 11 times four is 44. What you do to the bottom, what you do to the top part of the fraction, you have to do to the bottom, and vice versa. What you do to the bottom part of the fraction, you have to do to the top part of the fraction. So I hope that you found this helpful.